name is Jessica, yeah. and I've been working with the course about, hmm, actually found it in my early 20s, so that's over 20 years, but it's just been on and off, it's kind of been always with me. I found David online, I was looking up the word Jesus, <laughs> um, I had a disturbing dream, and I just suddenly was like, okay, I want to find something online, I don't know what, and I typed in Jesus in Google, and David came up first off, and I saw his number was there, which was unusual. It's like, just call me anytime, and and so, um, and uh, he happened to be in the area, like, right when I called him and said, why don't you come by and visit? And so I did, and I came with my daughter, who was two, and I was super nervous and kind of sputtered a few questions and then kind of awkwardly said, okay, I have to go now. <laughs> like, left, so. And then how long have you been in the community? Two months, so I'm volunteering for two months. Now. Great. And I know that you've been going through some heavy stuff lately. Mm -hmm. How is it handled here? How, do, how are you helped by being here? What happens and how does it help you? Well, um, it was it was actually really helpful because when I first came here, they noticed right away that I was sort of wandering. I would just kind of have this tendency to just wander away and like just space out or just kind of drift, and they could see that. So immediately they had a meeting. You know, we had a just a a light meeting. You know, where it was no, you know, it was just. A very lovingly they um, arranged a meeting and talked about how to best address this and so they came up with me uh, so but what I do now is I meet with someone for 15 minutes three times a day and it has been just miraculous actually no less than miraculous and it's they it helped so much and um, we established prayers to help focus and center um, my intention for what it was that I wanted to uncover what was going on behind this this behavior of wandering and um, drifting off and, and so that's essentially what we did every morning I just meet for 15 minutes and just made that time really purposeful and it's been absolutely miraculous in retrospect I recognize the behavior very in much more um, severe than just wandering away, literally like walking off, but like literally trying to run away. It was a symbol of running away from um, the darkness, running away from my life, and trying to escape somehow in form. And I would play that out in my life in very sort of extreme and dramatic ways that were very dysfunctional. And um, so, it, yeah, so it was a huge, I mean, indescribable gift to be able to get underneath what was going on in the mind behind that, I mean, underneath that, so we could see the, um, the, the, the thoughts behind what was happening in the mind, because the emphasis here is always on the mind and the thoughts, what's going on there, rather than the behavior, so it's not like we need to change, it's no, just start looking at and having an intention to uncover those beliefs, whatever it is that's being denied or repressed in the mind that's producing the behavior. Well, I felt that yesterday I had a big breakthrough with just coming, going into the darkness and coming through it and, exam and looking, really looking at what um, a lot of the repressed anger, repressed frustration and rage and just from a, from lifetimes of our lifetime of, of repressed anger um, and that sort of thing so uh, so let's see so that was a breakthrough mm -hmm. and uh, I've been supported we're still meeting every morning at 9 15 for 15 minutes and that's been very helpful um, and then I also have the support of anyone that I, I need to join with anyone, really, they're available to do that. Um, and yes, so it's been it's been absolutely amazing. And I hope I've moved through 
um, <laughs> the darkness. You never really know, you know, it's hard to say, but I felt like I moved through a lot that in just one, this is why I say it's miraculous, because I, I just moved through so much in, in one sitting, in a period of like three hours or so, and, um, and so I'm sure there's more stuff, but you know, I don't feel like I'm sitting in it, this blackness, I just feel like it's, it's coming up, and then it comes up, and let it come up, and then comes up again and like so so forth. Mm -hmm. And how does that feel different to you than perhaps doing all of this with a therapist in the outside world or with your friends or your family? How is it different to be here in a Course in Miracles community mm -hmm. letting your darkness come come up? Yeah. Um I would say it's very supportive and deeply nurturing to be here in the setting, the canyon here, and the um, just the, the environment outside of the setting and the seeming seclusion that, that's offered, you have the support and the structure of the community here, which is, you know, you can't, you can't, it's invaluable. You can't say enough about, about it. You, it's such a gift that you almost can't, I almost can't say enough about it. Like, I can't describe how been so much of an invitation for healing the mind and such a encouragement behind that that it's definitely a process to in coming to clarity but it's a, um, it's a constant dialogue it's a constant ongoing listening um, bringing your attention to that you know what what's being what what do I do what do I say where do I go that kind of thing and just touching in, touching base with yourself, with your mind, and just saying, you know, what, what is the Holy Spirit trying to tell me right now? What's, you know, and just being receptive and being and prayerful. Um, but it definitely, yeah, brings my attention to that, being here. It just brings my focus more and more to that. And it, it helps me to see that, it, um, that it's, it's actually possible that I can hear the Holy, the Holy Spirit and listen and follow and I can't say how important that actually is it can kind of it can get kind of you can forget sometimes how um, how, how what it's really all about that just being able to listen like what David said the other day was just listening all you really need in your life is to be able to listen and to the his guidance is to hear the Holy Spirit's voice so that's it. <laughs>